welcome back nana here in this record we are going to have a look at uh, the unsealing of the technical and commercial on a two stage rfp so we have normally seen what a uh, unlocking of the technical and commercial stage but uh, we were not concentrating on the unsealing of the technical and commercial stage so we are going to have a look at what exactly it means you know go there and then have a look at it. so let me go on and create a what's called a negotiation <clears throat> So let me go and then create a two-stage RFQ in which the unsealing of the commercial and technical will be coming up now. I click on the create negotiation. Let me go and then create a two-stage RFQ. <clears throat> so I'm now using the existing one. I'm going to go to what? So I will now go to what? An RFQ now. No. RFQ. <clears throat> and then here it is not a standard negotiation. Fine, I will now go for a two stage actually. <clears throat> I will now say a two stage negotiation is available. Fine, two stage negotiation is available. And then I am now using the RFQ for two stage negotiation <clears throat> with the existing one. I am working on the vision actually. And then go there as a two stage. And then drop down. And then I, I may have a template. Fine, doesn't matter. Fine. Otherwise, I will now leave the template. And I will now leave it as a chain. Fine. I will now say the output is going to be PO. So I will now go for a PO. Fine. Complex PO, ordinary PO is coming from other. <clears throat> is a contract PO. <clears throat> Uh, complex, 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 contract PO, <clears throat> and then go down and okay. uh, purchase order. So let me make the output as a purchase order, <clears throat> and then click on create now. <clears throat> so in this two stage RFQ, I am not putting any negotiation template. I am going to manually create everything and click on create. The outcome is going to be a purchase order and click on create. <clears throat> oh, it's asking for a template. No other go. <laughs> it's a mandatory field. And so we'll now put the template and then I will now modify the template. Okay. So I can click on create. So with the create with the template, what happens is now getting created actually. Mm -hmm. So go there. So once when the two stage RFQ is now created, I'm going to modify mm -hmm. all. So it is now under creation now. So here in this one, we are going to see the unsealing of the technical and commercial actually. Mm -hmm. We normally see one is unlock. So this time we are going to have a look at the unsealing of the technical and commercial now. So go there. So the cover page is okay. We don't have anything to do on this now. Fine. Go to the overview now. Fine. Go to the overview. So I will now say <coughs> there is a heading now. I will now say uh, it's a A01 two stage. Fine. RFQ. There is a heading I'm giving it now. Fine. The two stage RFQ is go down. And then here I'm going to say when it is going to be date. Fine. Come on. They're going to get closed on 15th. I will now say enable team scoring. So team scoring is enabled. Enable weights. Team scoring is now enabled. Enable weights. It's okay. I will now have what the other things I am not touching anything at all. Restrict inmates suppliers. We are not going to go into the in depth of the two stage RFQ. I've already what happens there, shown you on the single stage RFQ. So here I'm not doing anything at all. So one thing is I'm enabling the team scoring actually in this place. And what are the terms? I give a fixed date and then I enable the team scoring. So the terms we are accepting it actually. In the collaboration team, I'm going to have two collaborators basically. One for the technical and then one for the commercial actually. So I have, we have got Ryan Christine now. And let me delete it. Let me add my own people now. It's okay, come first now. I will add me my own. It is what uh, Calvin Roth now. R-O-T-H, comma, Calvin. So Calvin Roth is the one. Fine, go there, come back. Uh, I will now say what happens is scoring only. I am now going to the scoring now. Right? Okay. The one. And then click on plus. I will now add uh, your uh, <coughs> brown cassie. Your brown cassie. So brown cassie is the one. I'm going to do. So brown cassie is the one. So brown comma cassie. Brown comma space cassie. So brown cassie is the one. Plus. So this also I'm going to give it for scoring. Whereas I am now having full access. So click on save at this stage and other than I keep on adding it and keep on save. I will now go to the manage scoring. I know that you want it. I will now go to the manage scoring and then create the teams for this one. I want it. Manage scoring. So we'll be having a technical stage as well as a commercial stage actually. And click on plus one. Scoring team. Scoring team is what? Tech team. <coughs> Tech team, and then there, uh, I will now add uh, Calvin Roth for the tech team. 
sections are available here fine right? so business financials and then this thing okay right? so uh score in first of all we had to have the sections that create those you know, nothing ever cancel first of all you know go that click on done and come back and then we have to create sections at all so go that man is going send notifications all these things are there right? sections are not at ready actually <clears throat> and for it so we will now come back and then we will now allocate the sections and then do it and on the requirement is now freezed we will now have this and click on save now we will now come back here and then do it nothing else so only there are two scores are there so we'll have to create a section and then do it when you want <clears throat> i know what have only one section of okay? let me have one section and then even uh, uh, brown case is also not required because i want to have a score actually so brown case is also not required and is okay fine right? along with that so this part is now completed project and task and abstract are not required i will not go to the requirements right? i will have one requirement and then this is going to be a manual scoring okay? i will have one at one so let me delete this some thank you i will not delete the existing one <clears throat> the requirements i will add only a simple requirement of this one. so delete it and select it and then delete it so click on yes and then go that i want to delete this also and then i will add one simple set simple one now i know that so click on it i will add a section of and not add a predefined section i will not put a section on here so drop it down i will now say technical capabilities i will add it and i will now add a requirement click on add requirement the evaluation stage is technical actually the evaluation stage is technical so i will now say uh, uh, technical capabilities this also what happens the add requirement i will now add it automatically not the manual so go there so add requirement add predefined course the technical capabilities i'm going to do so if you drop down we have a technical and commercial technical is there nothing but so requirements are going to be what happens are being only one of and commercial will not have any requirement at all so add predefined course add the predefined course is fine so i will now say ag no predefined there is an agree terms is there and click on it i will now query for it ag <coughs> we entering i will now say agree to terms is one and click on apply and go fine a predefined question has been added over here we are on predefined questions and the technical capabilities we have a predefined predefined question of answer one agreed terms and then here uh, i will now go on the edit kit and then i will now make it as manual scoring the scoring is going to be manual <coughs> and then the weight is going to be 100 because since we have only one requirement i am keeping the weight as 100 and then what happens the knockout score is 3 so if he says yes he will not give 5 and then if he says no i will be giving 2 so that what happens he gets knocked off automatically right? that is the way uh, i am not planning it not here so there is a manual scoring 5 and 3 and then 100 there is only one requirement and so you know, okay now <clears throat> so we have now created a requirement one requirement has been given now requirement has been given here so uh, i will not say scoring team is what i have not made any scoring team at all here no. so i have to make a scoring team also here so i will now click on create and then i will now create a scoring <clears throat> scoring team so your scoring team is what tech team <clears throat> tech team i am going to create like that i will now put calvin drop over here now click on it the tech team so click on save and close maybe it's problem the tech team is i will not use the brown case i just made it but i am not going to use it so drop it down i will now say scoring team by tech team <clears throat> so give us see so one requirement is going to be evaluated by calvin drop and the orders you know that so it's not a requirement even i will not go to the lines here and click on the lines here so we have one requirement and then we have scorers also available and he is a uh, calvin drop is a scorer i will not go to the lines here i will not go to the lines here and then let me add the line i am going to add the line so go to the space and so there is already one description that i will not delete this line right? because it's not coming because of the template actually so let me go there and then delete it and then let me add my line <clears throat> is a description based one so go there click on plus let me add my line fine i have now put my a is 65000 fine the inkjet printer actually so let me add my line <clears throat> and then that line will have line attributes also it will be having line attributes and you know it will now have a cost factor as well as attributes everything added now and it is a as 65000 <clears throat> as 65000 is the one you know so there is a one of any one you know done so the quantity is going to be 100 and the quantity is there you know everything is done fine so requested delivery date i will now say you know expecting it on 24th no fine and the current price is 100 <clears throat> the start price is also 100 so we are starting and then i will now select it and then i will now click on it on the line level i am going to edit you can edit you can edit and then here i am going to add the cost factors also so the line is having a cost factor so that will also be contributing towards the price actually <clears throat> 
ನಾವು ಓದಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಅದನ್ನ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಲೈನ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಲೈನ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಕಂಪಾರಿಸನ್ ಪರ್ಪಸಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪಿಒ ಪರ್ಪಸಸ್ ಪಿಒ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಈ ಕೋಡ್ ವೆರ್ ಎಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವೈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನೋ ಬಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಂಪಾರಿಸನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜೋಲಜ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಸರ್ಚ್ ನೋ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಸೇ ಫ್ರೈಡ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಐ ನೋ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರೈಡ್ ಯು ಫ್ರೈಡ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ದ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಸೇ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ನಾ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಸೇ ಪರ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಪನ್ ಸರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಸೇ ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಫೈನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸೊ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇ ದ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟೀಸ್ ನಾ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಟ್ ಬಿ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫ್ರೈಟ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪರ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸೊ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಫೈನ್ ದರ್ ವಾಟ್ ದರ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಸೇ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ ಫೈನ್ ಗುಡ್ ದ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಬೋರ್ಡ್ ಅದನ್ ಕೇರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಅಪನ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಗುಡ್ ದ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅದನ್ ಕೇರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಆಡ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ನೋ ಫೈನ್ ಕಾಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗುಡ್ ಆಡ್ ಇಟ್ ನೌ ಆರ್ ಅದರ್ ಆಡ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೀಡಿಫೈನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬೆಟರ್ ಒನ್ ನೋ ಫೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ನೋ ಫೈನ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಡಿಲೀಟ್ ಐ ಡಿಲೀಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಅದನ್ ಆಡ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೀಡಿಫೈನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಅದನ್ ಪ್ರೀಡಿಫೈನ್ ಅಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಡ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೀಡಿಫೈನ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಸೇ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಫೈನ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಆನ್ ಅದನ್ ಚೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನೌ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ಸೇ ವಾರಂಟಿ warranty is a predefined group so for which what i will not add attribute add a predefined group add from a list so click on add from a list i'll now see thank you on search now you must see what the attribute is available for warranty and with that uh, i'll now say laptop specifications laptop yeah, something is uh, not a warranty actually it's not a warranty for <coughs> that point uh, there are so much of specifications available so it's too much and <laughs> go that you got i will not delete it thank you on the link <coughs> that becomes a big one now right the laptop specifications are too many so i want to have a very simple one thank you honestly no that one i will not delete it and then i will not try to search for a simple list actually in the, in the warranty in the add from a list and go to add from a list so it's okay add an attribute nothing i'll add an attribute add an attribute i will not say uh, a number of years of warranty number of years of warranty is the one and the other one and then i will not say uh, response value is 5 and then the score is 5 and then response value is 4 the score is 4 fine response value is 3 and the score is 3 and then 2 and then 2 and remember this does not have any knockout criteria at all no knockout criteria so only for the requirements we have a knockout criteria so i will not say weight is 100 and all the things put together has to be 100 <clears throat> target is what i will not say for i will display the target to the subject also so we are given attribute fine go that line level uh, or other items attribute fine one attribute has been added now fine over required and over so as <clears throat> has been given so you know giving this now fine click on seven post so you know going to give it uh, what happens how much is the warranty how many years of warranty the one fine on that group so click on seven close <clears throat> it is written for that so here warranty and the number of years of number of years of warranty so is that correct then the target is 4 and follows so everything is not on fine so we are now given what a cost factor as well as an attribute of the item i click on second close they are not completed so this activity is not completed i will not go to the next one thing what attempt i will not i will not add the suppliers or you know fine this item which is having cost factors as well as your attributes i will not go to the supplier let me add three suppliers for this one fine i will not delete all the suppliers fine with the shift and then i will not delete fine so select it over oh. i will not select it and then with the shift i will not try to collect everything is not oh got it is not getting selected properly now select it no, i have not selected fine click on delete let me delete all the suppliers let me add my own suppliers <coughs> so go there i will not say a01 i have sub1 sub2 sub3 let me add it so a01 sub1 and then the site is what site1 then drop it down and these are the contact site1 fine click on plus and then i will add three
So it has got a requirement and then which is having a manual scoring. And the requirement, what happens if you go on and see? This is a manual score. If you go on and read. So this is a manual scoring. So the scorer, <coughs> Calvin Roth is going to manually score. My goodness. Manually is going to score. Thank God. And then afterwards, the line level, we have the cost factors as well as the attributes. So this is the highlights of this RF, you know, point of publishing. So 31793 is going to be published. You know, submit for publishing. <clears throat> I hope that uh, nobody has set up any approvals. And so what happens? It will be coming up very fast. Now, thank you. So 31793 is now approved. Thank you very much. I will not go to the manage negotiations and have a look at it. Go to the manage negotiations. 31793, I'm going to put it. <clears throat> so here, it won't be so-and-so. It's okay. Fine. Uh, I will not make a search. Now, thank you. Search. Not make a search. So, so this is the guy who will make the fine. 31793. Fine. Approval is in progress. And then let us not wait for the approval to get completed. Now. So now it has become active and locked. It has got approved and then it has now become active and locked. And then we will now see the sourcing and the two stage of approval. So once when the thing is approved, what happens? It will now become active and locked. Right? Submit a response from all the three suppliers. I am going to give a supply, give a response from all the suppliers. I will now go to this way. A01, N1, and the one bank click on it. I will now go to the <coughs> supplier portal. So is the A01 is the first supplier actually. I will now go to that. So I will not go to the negotiation, thank you for the negotiation. And then what happens? You active negotiations we can have a look at in the one to one should be coming along and so go there. So what happens? You create a response directly. We are not going to get a response. <clears throat> so while creating a response, the requirement has to be first of all filled, and then afterwards the items are price, and then your other attributes. I will not go to the requirement, not click on the requirement. I will not say yes to everything. Not click on yes, no. Because the manual scoring thing was the one. So go to the lines. Not fine. Yes, go to the lines. The lines is not going to be the price. So, like that. so the response quantity uh, is editable actually. That is why what happens is you made it. Not fine. Line price is not 90. <clears throat> not going to be the line price of 90. And then afterwards you go and then edit. And then edit. And then he's going to give what? So we are not asked for point on. We are not going to accept the same value. <clears throat> so 90. <clears throat> what about? So. We are now giving a price of 90 on the first supplier now. <clears throat> first supplier, we are going to give a value of 90. And then at the freight cost of a point one, so put together it will be 100. No, point one. The point one, I will not give point one. So once we give a point one, and the response price will now become, now from 90, it will now become 100. <clears throat> okay, 90.1 is coming. So per unit is there, fine. 100 unit is what? Only 100 into point one is how much? Is It must be 10, nothing. Oh, God. So it's 90 per unit. Okay, fine. Okay. <clears throat> Since it's 90 per unit, what happens? The total price is 9,000 actually. 9,000 plus uh, 10. Fine. That is why uh, it's not being 9,010. 9, 9,010. So it's no point on. So it's now 9,010. 9,010. And then it's okay. <clears throat> I will now, for convenience sake, I will now make it as one more. Fine. So that's what happens. You know, see, it is 9,100. <clears throat> okay. It is 9,000 9, plus 100 is 9,100. The total response price. So his unit price is how much? It comes to 91. Now. Stock price number that is now giving 95. It's okay. And then you know, go down. And then here he is now going to give up what's called this one now. <clears throat> the response he is going to give the number of years of warranty. So you will now say, let's say, uh, you know, target value is four. I'll now give a value of four only. Right? The value of four I'm going to give. So he has given the line level attributes as well as the cost factors also here. All right. So click on save and close. You know, complete it. And then he's going to submit the response. So 91 is his uh, total response price. So the first response is now submitted. Thank you for submitting. No, no. <clears throat> Similarly, I will now go and then submit the response from the second supplier. No, submit. It's fine. I will now go to the second supplier. Fine. The second supplier. I will now click on okay. No. I'm in the second supplier. Login now. Fine. A02, N02 is the second supplier. I'm going to go to the supply portal. And then I go to the supply portal. <clears throat> and then on that, what happens? I will now go to the view active negotiations. View active negotiations. <clears throat> Now go there. You active negotiations. Other will not get a response for us. So second supplier will be supplying, will be uh, coding at an 80 now. So click on create response. You are now creating it now. Go there. So who goes there? The one now fine. Go there. I will not go to the requirements. He is not going to say yes only. When everybody will be saying yes, and then there's no getting manual score. Fine, click on line. <clears throat> the lines, what I'm going to give a price of 80, <clears throat> and then you will not give a cost factor also. Line price is what 80. You know, going to give <coughs> select in the 80. Editing <laughs> it. And then here, the cost factor is what one, the same one, I'm going to give it now. So it is 91, it is 81 for him. <laughs> that was 91, is 81 for him. <clears throat> he will not go on and choose it now. Again, four. <clears throat> so the number of years of warranty is also giving us four. So line attribute, let us now say three now. He has now given four. 
I will not give three. Fine, three. I'm going to give it. Line attribute is three now. So three is. So first one has given four. This one has given three actually. So click on save and close. So we are given the line attributes as well as what happens your cost factor. Which cost factor? And click on save and close. <clears throat> so click on submit. By which what happens? The second supplier has also submitted. Yeah, you no know, submit. Along with the third supplier, find that. Click on it. Along with the third supplier, from there what happens? You can do it now. So 9080, uh, this will be 78. <clears throat> go to the supply portal, and then go to the supply portal, and then he will now give a price of 70. <clears throat> so go to this place, and then here, what happens? Go, go to the negotiations, what happens? The negotiation, and then view active negotiations from there. He is now going to give a response. Now, click on the create response. We are now creating a response from this place. I will now go to the requirements straight away, and then he is now going to do what this one. So click on it. I'm not going to make a requirement. <clears throat> go to the place. You'll now say yes. And, yes. and then here, what happens? Go to the lines. Not fine. Go to the lines. He will now give a price of 70. Fine. 90, 80, and 70 is the one. And 70 is the price. And then not. Will not give a tariff. And then here, I will now go there. Click on it. I will not edit it. Click on it. I will not go to the edit. And then here, I will not give again. What happens? One dollar. Fine. It will be 71 actually. The total price. 71, 81, and 91 are the response places of three suppliers actually. And then here, it will now give what? Two years now, fine. Four, three, and then this time, this time, this will be two years now, right? So two years of warranty is given. So click on save and close, by which what happens is now completed. So we are given the requirements as well as the cost factors, as well as the attributes, and then he's going to submit. Now, all of them are submitted, actually. So if uh, this guy is now going to look at, now, fine, 31793, he's going to negotiate, fine, I will now go to the crew, and I'm fine with that. So click on it, and then we'll now make a search for it. Click on search. Now, all of them are completed, now, click on search. So everybody has now given a quote now. Fine. Click on the hyperlink of it. And that will now start to monitor the negotiation. So everybody has given a price. Actually. Everybody has bid it for this. <clears throat> you open it up and then have a look at it. So go to this place. Okay. Uh, uh, go to actions and then go to monitor. And then what happens? The monitor supplier activities. Fine. Click on the monitor supplier activities. I'm going to monitor it now. Supplier activities you're going to monitor. Now what happens? You'll now see all the three people have now quoted now. <clears throat> The response is now coming up one after the other, actually. So we can see the three surprise response. So the responses are now available. Now. So a submitted response, submitted response, fine, new negotiation is okay. <clears throat> and then uh, here it is not coming up. So uh, you can even see the response number is not immediately visible over here. Fine. Only supplier activities is now coming over here. It is not showing me the response, actually. <clears throat> That's fine. If you click on keep on every supplier, you know, say for the created response and then submitted the response, everything is coming. It's coming as a seal lecture. It is not sealed. Now we'll now go to the Excel sheet and then have a look at it. So submitted as well. View response history as sealed like, and it's not sealed. Now close the negotiation. I'm going to close the negotiation. Okay. So now go there, click on that, and then come out of it. We'll now close the negotiation. <clears throat> so go that one. Actions, I will now what happens? Go to manage and then close the negotiation. The negotiations close because we have already got all the uh, quotes from very many suppliers whom you were intended for go there fine it's closed so go there it's closed and then click on submit which what happens it will be closing immediately now even though we have a close date which is the hard of it now fine. it gets closed fine. the close date for the negotiations are already all the invited as participant suppliers will be notified by email actually they are all invited they are responded by email so we'll come over here and now closed then unlock the stage technical we are going to unlock the stage. So unlocking and unfreezing or unsealing are two different activities. Go to actions and then go to manage. Now. <coughs> we are going to unlock the stage technical. <coughs> so once when you unlock the technical stage, <coughs> it is now giving you a message. <coughs> if you unlock the technical stage, buyers will be able to see view the technical stage responses. Fine. So buyers can see the technical responses only, but not the commercial. <coughs> they cannot see the commercial ones. <coughs> they can see only the technical one. So click on this one. But suppliers cannot see anything at all. No, no. Technical stage is unlocked. So what you will do is you will now go to the options and then now what I will you will now go to what I will now go to analyze and then analyze the negotiation. It is now unlocked. So you can now see evaluation in progress and then technical is unlocked. That is what is now. Technical is unlocked. So this guy will now go there, go to analyze and then will now analyze the negotiation. By analyzing the negotiation, you can see the technical specs of it. But the prices of 91, 81, and then 71 cannot be seen at all. You cannot see the prices, with you, whatever they have quoted. Okay. Supplier one is there. Fine. So, the one. Okay. so the response number is coming, 131, 132, 133. If you click on the response, you can only see the technical actually. 131, response, whatever, you can only see the technical. <clears throat> so technical only you can see. Okay. If you go to the requirements, fine. 
what are the requirements he has given? You can see now fine. He is, is the requirement. If you go to the lines region, fine. If you go to the lines region, you can now see what the, the one now fine. So standard inkjet printer, fine. For uh, this thing, score he has given. On the item attribute, he has given a score. <clears throat> so he has given a score. That is coming. And the item attribute he has given a score. Apart from that, the line price as well as the cost factors are not there at all. And if you click on the details, what happens? They cannot see that. The details, what happens? Nothing will be visible for you. <clears throat> Go that thing on it. So you can see number of years of warranty. Fine. It is only giving you the score in a, in a bigger manner, actually. If you click on the details, the score he has given, you can be able to view it in a different manner, actually. That's all I think. Nothing else you can see. The technical simplicity. We will now go to the first supplier and then we will now look at it about what he can see on this. We will now go there. Click on that. <clears throat> so what he will do is he will now go to this negotiation. He will now go to this negotiation. In the negotiation, what happens? I will now go to the manager response. I click on the manager responses. So if you click on the responses, only his 131 only will be visible. Now. If you click on search, no fine. His 131 only will be visible. Fine, even that is not relevant. I'm going to make it all, no fine. Make it null and then what happens? I click on search, now. The response status is active, no fine. Go on and active. And then click on search. So it's not visible at all. Fine. So his responses are not visible at all. And he's unable to see any of the responses. So uh, uh, what are the distinct number? Now I'll look at 31793. So I will now say three one seven nine three and go that one it. And then the response status is what? Uh, there is no such all is not there. So click on search now fine. Click on search. It is not showing his response also. His own response is also not visible actually. And I think it is the manager responses is never anything at all. So if you go to the active, it will not be there at all. If you go to the negotiation and if you go to the view active negotiations, it is not at all active. If you go on and search for it. But nothing is active because it has already been closed actually. Been closed. So now what you're going to do, fine. You go to the Excel sheet. Go to the Excel sheet. So he is able to see only the technical specs are not the money part, fine. So he was able to see what the items uh, uh, attributes, fine. The warranty is able to see. Fine. Likewise, every supplier can see. He can see every supplier as one. He will not analyze the negotiation and view responses basically. Now you're going to lock the technical record. He is going to look at the technical requirement, not lock. Fine, look, look. So he is now looking at that. The prices will not be visible on this line. Now, <clears throat> now unseal the stage. This is an optional one. Unsealing is an optional one. If you unseal it, what happens? The other suppliers can also see your responses, actually. You go on and done now. Fine. So this is a, a thing which is not allowed in certain companies, actually. If you go to the space, go to the negotiation, go to the manager responses. Now, everybody's response, 131, 132, 133, everybody can see, actually. This is what us. So if certain companies like what happens, the Reliance Industries do not allow other suppliers to see the other people's responses. So they will never unseal at all. Fine. Unseal is an optional stage. Fine. Unseal is an optional one. Unsealing the technical stage is an optional one. Fine. So others can also see. So let us know unseal and then do it. Fine. Got it. I will not go to space. Fine. I will not go there. Click on done now and come out of it. Main screen. <clears throat> this is an optional step now. Fine. Click on it. Not fine. Go to the actions and then what happens? You click on done and then come out of it to the main screen now. <clears throat> and then go to the actions and then go to manage and then here unseal stage technical fine. so without unsealing also we can very well complete it but if you unseal it both the buyers and suppliers can see all the technical specs and then if it is not desired you bypass this and then directly complete it and that is what it is so click on unseal stage now what happens it will give you a model. if you unseal technical stage buyers and suppliers will be able to view responses to technical stage do you want to continue so suppliers also can see the responses there and click on yes Previously, only buyer was able to see. Uh, the user was not able to define. It is now un unsealed actually. And you can see in the top itself, the evaluation progress technical is unsealed actually. Unsealed is coming. Now, let us now go to the first supplier. Now, fine. Go to the first supplier. Fine. Click on that now. Fine. We will now go to what? Manage responses. Again, now, fine. go to the manage responses. <clears throat> uh, go to the negotiation. <clears throat> negotiation, then go to the manage responses. And then see whether he is able to see the technical specs or not. Fine. Click on search. <clears throat> so, click on search. Now, uh, 31793. Not fine. 31793. I will not say it's in the closed status. Not fine. Uh, this is now closed actually. Mm -hmm. So, where can be? I can even make a null and then do it. Not fine. Not fine. Not fine. Click on search. Not fine. Click on search. <laughs> so, click on search. It's still not visible at all. <laughs> Once again, 31793. So, negotiation title. Sorry, it has to be put here. Not fine. Click it and then put in the negotiation number. Number I'm putting it. So click on search. So once when you search for it, 
will not see what happens there. this is the one now fine so he is able to see his response now fine click on it if you click on the hyperlink of it 132 and 133 will also be visible now fine click on it click on the hyperlink of it 131 <clears throat> and then go there so go to the lines region now the lines region <clears throat> and then if you see what happens he is able to see fine go there he is able to see his own uh, information now fine everything he is able to see but he can even see the what's called uh, uh, the unsealed one you can very well see now. Fine, click on now. <clears throat> Why it's not visible? I am not very sure about it. <clears throat> so click on that. Let me load and log in and then see now. Fine, click on it. Let me load and log in. Sometimes what happens? You have to load and log in. Sign out and sign in. Then see whether he's able to visualize it or not. Thank you for sign out. And then click on confirm now. <clears throat> well, now log in again. <clears throat> so go to the E01 dot N01. Click on it. So you're now signing in. So it is already unsealed actually. If I go to the place and then go to the negotiation manager responses. Right. 31793. Give a tab. And then I click on search now. I will now say what I mean, null status here now. And null status will make a search now. Click on search. You're going to see it now. Click on it. And then if it is a pending award, okay, it's okay. <clears throat> negotiation title, everything is coming. So if you click on this one, right, so it's say 131. And then requirements, whatever he has quoted, 131 is his one now. And go to the lines area. And then he is able to see it. So he is able to see his own price because he is only quoted. And so he is able to see the price. But others, uh, technical specs, we have to see now. And go to the actions. And then go to the view response history. Yes, yes. If you click on the view response history, and click on the view response history. <clears throat> if you click on the view response history, it will not show others' response also. So view response history, if you go on 68132, if you click on it, what happens? It will not show only the technical response. Right? Technical response will be seen. For his, he is able to see everything. Right? If you click on the details, you can now see the other person's technical response, right? like the item attribute. So he is able to see the item attribute. Right? Item attribute is now visible. Click on it. <clears throat> right. So this is also sometimes, some companies, it is not what happens, uh, uh, appreciable at all. So they do not want to see these things at all. So every supplier can see other others' responses by what happens, go to actions and go to view response history. You can now see other suppliers' response. But here, what happens, only numbers are shown, but the supplier name is not shown. The response numbers are shown, but this, uh, this one cannot see the one. If you click on the 131, if you click on his own response, fine, go there. so he's able to see his own price also. Fine. And then technical specs also. If you click on the details, it will not show you the technical specs. Fine, go technical specs is also shown. Go so view response history is not shown. Technical specs is also but here for the other suppliers, only the response number is coming. But what happens? Your uh, supplier name is not coming. Right? So unsealing is not a very comfortable activity as such. Right? Unsealing is not a really comfortable activity. Because if you allow other suppliers to see the technical code of other suppliers, the, you are basically killing the competition actually. So if you want to keep it, what happens? You will not even unseal. Unseal is an optional step. And then you can directly go on and do it now. Thank you. So go there. What is the place? Thank you. So if you go to the space and click on it, you know, unseal, okay, unseal taken away. The bias can, supplies can see the results. I'm not going to complete it. Right? So once when I'm going to complete it, what happens? Uh, those who have been, what happens? Uh, knocked off or those here, if you say go to the space, click on it. You go to the space. I have to, what happens? A uh, score also. Fine. I have to give a scoring also. Fine. So let us know login at what? As a Calvin drop. And then I will not score only for two of the people on the screen. I'm going to score now. Fine, go there. So let us now go there and then log in as Calvin drop. Fine, go there. <clears throat> so go there. So now uh, having received all the things and then we have unsealed the technical stage also. He is now the owner, the negotiator owner is now going to open the scoring. Go to the actions and then go to manage and then he will now open the scoring. So click on open scoring. So once when he opens the scoring, the scorers will be getting a message that it is now open actually. <clears throat> so they can very well score on those. So it's no opening. If you open the scoring in technical stage, you won't be able to change the scoring team assigned. It's okay. If you open the scoring team in technical stage, you won't be able to add any internal requirements. Okay, that's okay. Click on this one. No internal requirements. This is the two warning messages I'm getting in the You will not accept warning messages and then it is now getting open. Scoring for the technical stage. The scoring is open for the technical stage. Click on okay. So now I've already logged in as a, what's called a Calvin drop actually. So Calvin drop is the one I've already logged in now. So let us now go on and search again now. Thank you on search. And then here, you will now click on the 31793. Calvin drop is now opening it up. Thank you on it. And then go there, go to the actions. And then here, what happens? He is now going to analyze. And then what happens? The score responses. He is now going to score. So he is now going to score only for the first two. Thank you on the score. 
he will not score only for the first two actually. <clears throat> so go there. So nine, the one will not go to edit now. Can you click on it? There's a manual scoring. Thank you. Six eight one three one 3 1 is now coming. It is a manual scoring in which what happens is nobody say yes now. Fine. It will not say five means what? It is not through actually. Fine. Click on submit now. So by which what happens is now making it through. <clears throat> so the requirement has been scored now. Fine. So one is now completed. So now you will not go to the two now. Fine. Two will not edit. Fine. So click on edit now. It will also be edit five. So go there. So the third one, he has not done any scoring. So the third one, he has not done any. So he has done scoring only for the two suppliers. The third supplier has not done the scoring. Well, now click on submit. Fine. By which, what happens? His response will be submitted back to the system. He is not submitting it back to the system. So if any requirements are not scored, then uh, scoring will be set to zero. Do you want to continue? That is what the problem is. So if, if he is not set, what happens? It will be set to zero actually. So the scoring is now set to zero. So that means what? That will be getting knocked off. The third supplier will be getting knocked off. The, the, 30, the 33 supplier, so he will be set to zero actually. If you are submitting it without on a two-stage RFQ, fine. If it is set, what happens? It gets knocked off actually. So click on this one. There is no like The scoring fault response is submitted. So the third one is automatically, if you go on and see on the third one, if you click on it, it will be having a score of zero actually. Since he has not scored, fine. the score has been made as zero actually. Now we will not come back to this place. Right? We will come back to this so now uh, it, the scores have been submitted now. So what happens? You'll go to the actions and then go to manage and then you know close the scoring. Fine, close the scoring. The scoring has been done. Fine, can't close. The scoring is now closed. <clears throat> if you close the scoring in technical stage, scores can't be submitted by scoring team members for technical stage requirements. Fine, no. Any, any no more scoring is possible. No, fine. He has already submitted. And then whatever he has not submitted, it has now taken the system has taken a zero. No, fine, click on it. So scoring has been closed now. Fine. So that means what? The third supplier will be knocked out now. This place, what happens? It is going to be knocked out. Now go that one. So it's not done. Now what happens? I will now complete the technical stage. Complete stage technical. Now go that one. Good actions. Fine. Go that. I am now in the RFQ. So I will now go to this place. Fine. Go that. So good actions, and then you go to manage, and then I am going to complete it now. So remember, unsealing is not mandatory. It is optional. If you feel like. If you want the other suppliers to see others, other pieces of technical response without the name, you can do it. On complete technical stage. So if you complete the technical stage, responses excluded from the shortlisted won't be available for evaluation in the commercial stage at all. So the third supplier is knocked out. And so it is an exclusion actually. The third supplier is knocked out. And so it is an exclusion. Thank you that one. And then they will not be available in the commercial stage at all. Thank you, honest. <clears throat> you know, technical is closed. The third supplier will not be allowed at all. Such a the technical stage for negotiation is complete. <clears throat> So that has been given a zero score of zero. So because of which, what happens? It will not come. Now unlock the commercial state. Now unlock the commercial state. Go there. I will not go to this place. I will not go there. I will not unlock the commercial state. actions and then go to manage. Now, fine. will not. What happens? Unlock the stage commercial. Fine. Click on the unlock commercial stage. So once when you unlock, if you unlock the commercial stage, buyers will be able to view the responses for technical stage and commercial stage. Buyers can see both actually. Buyers can see both. If you unlock commercial stage, all the technical stage scores for responses where scoring is not completed will be deleted actually. So when we are not done the scoring at all, the system itself is setting the score to zero. Fine. So it is also giving an additional information. If you unlock the commercial stage, all the technical stage scores for responses where scoring is not completed will be deleted actually. Anyhow, it is not made as a zero and then that will be deleted. It's okay. For us, it is already knocked off and then it will not be what I'm set is zero. Fine. Click on this one. <clears throat> And that will be deleted. If he has not done it for another, it will be deleted. And scoring for the completing the state was unlocked actually. And click on that. It's not done. So go that to one. So it's not unlocked. From bias can see the responses, all the responses. In there. So you'll now go to the place and click on it. And then you'll now go to the monitor and then go to the monitor supplier activities. And go there. Monitor supplier activities will go there. Click on it. You know, go to monitor it now. So it's what go there. Click on it. So all the activities of all the suppliers are now shown over here now. And click on it. So click on done. <clears throat> I will not click on done and then come back one level now. Click on it. Now coming the button. So click on this now. Click on it. It says what the commercial stage is unlocked actually. If you go to the actions, I will not go to the award and then award negotiations coming. Fine. View response history. So in the award, we are going to view the response history. Fine. Click on the view response history. If you are viewing response history, you can now see what happens. One, two, three are available. All the three are available, but the three is already knocked out actually. If you go on and see six eight one three three, you will not see uh, whether he is able to see the scores or not. Thank you on it. <clears throat> Seven three four. Uh, evaluation process is unlocked. Unlocked. He is able to see everybody's uh, commercial response. Right? The response amount is also coming. So that means what? That's okay. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, 
everything is also fine and okay so it's all done mm-hmm. now at this stage what happens if is unlocked we will not see the response stream from the sub, from the first supply from first supply the central content of one go data number one you know go to go there thank you for it you will not go to actions and then go to view response stream <clears throat> if you being the response stream and go there so click on it so if you want to see the second supplier's response fine you can not only see the technical response and not the commercial response part only technical response fine if you click on the def, fine. only the technical response will be visible the commercial response will not be visible the whole of the time the commercial response is not visible because it is not at what happens it is only unlocked actually you are able to see it. so but it was saying that what happens in this place fine. the third supplier will not be available at all that what is saying i am unable to see that now so go back on now see this so we are able to see the third supplier's code also and everything you are able to see now <clears throat> 71 everything is there and if you click on the details you can now see the technical specs also <clears throat> so technical specs also is coming in go <clears> that <throat> one so the technical so number of years fine everything is now shown again fine click on everything is now shown again fine click on it you are able to see the technical response also fine score and then wait score all these things are coming actually so click on done and then come out of <clears throat> this place uh so go to actions on the view response history if you click on the view response history and click on the response history so i am in the supplies area but i am in the normal one so response history is available but if you see it what happens everything is available thank you for that <clears throat> and go to the main screen if evaluation progress commercial is unlocked you know again go to the negotiation and go to the negotiation or no go to the order is unlocked <clears throat> Go to this place. Fine. Go to the procurement. Go to the procurement. I want to see that the third supplier is now knocked off, but it is not visible at all. Even so, I couldn't see that much <laughs> because it was saying that that will not be considered for evaluation at all. Also, I have not got the manager negotiation three one seven nine three. So upon unlocking, uh, whatever the supplier can see everything, fine. but the but the, the negotiator can see everything, buyer can see everything, but uh, not the supplier actually. Three one. Seven nine three is a new so click on search. They are searching for it. They are not coming there. So if you click on the hyperlink of it, the validation is progress. It is now unlocked. Commercial is unlocked now. If you go to actions, or then if you go to the ad and view response history, it is not showing everything now. View response history, all the three responses shown because it says that the third supplier, which is not scoring, has not been done. It has to be knocked out now. It will not be considered at all. That is what they are saying. No. But it is still showing me the value. I don't know whether at a further stage it will know what happens. Remove him or not? I'm not sure about it. <clears throat> if you click, on it, <laughs> all the year, if you click on it, it's not showing you the price also. Response amount, everything is not showing. You. <laughs> okay, let me unseal. I'll now go and then unseal it now. So as of now, the second supplier, the first supplier is not seeing. Able to see the second supplier's commercial response now. The second supplier's commercial response is not seen, and he is able to see only the technical response. Let us now unseal it. The moment I unseal it, what happens? Other suppliers can also see others' commercial response. Also, it is a very highly undesirable in many many companies. I might want it. You know that. So I'm not going to access. I'm not going to manage. I'm not going there. So unsti unsealing is what happens is not a mandatory. Is an optional one. I'm not. <coughs> it is an optional one. I'm not unsealing it now. Unsealing is an optional one. I'm not. So click on what unseal now. Unseal commercial. So once you're unsealing, if you unseal the commercial stage, buyers and suppliers will be able to view the responses for technical and commercial stage. That's all. I'm not unsealing. It is on sale. Okay? Commercial sale is also open. So we'll now go to the first supplier, and then we'll now try to view the responses. Okay? Click on it. I will now go there. Click on it. I have to see the commercial response also. Okay? Click on done. <coughs> I will now click on done. Okay? I will now come back, and then I will now requery, and then come over here. Okay? Click on it. I will now go there. Click on it. How to requery? The one moment. Okay? Uh, the unsealed and technical. Okay? Click on done. <coughs> technical is closed. Okay? So, so click on done again. Okay? Come back out of him. I will not go and then make a search. Now, if I click on search, now I can search for it. You know, coming back six eight one three one is going to have a bit. Now, you know, and then go to actions. You go to actions, and then go to view response history. If you go on and see the view response history, right now both the technical and commercial must be visible for you. Six eight one three two. If you click on it, right now you will see amount is also visible. Previously, amount was not coming. Now amount is visible. If you click on it, you can now see the distribution of the cost factors also. So rank two, I know that if you click on it, you can now see the cost factor also will be coming. The cost factor is one dollar, eighty plus one, eighty one. You know that, and then along with the technical. 
So he is able to see. Fine. If you do not want the other suppliers to see the other other bidders' uh, commercial response, don't do it. No. One thing is what it will not show you the supplier name. Right? Which supplier has quoted this response is not possible. No. So it is unseen now. Anyway. So it is unseen. So he is able to see everything. Fine. Got it. So unsealing is coming. Right? So this is what the essence of this uh, uh, whatever demonstration. Fine. When you unseal the technical, both the suppliers and the buyers can see the technical specs. Similarly, when you unseal the commercial, both the suppliers and the buyers can see the uh, commercial response of others also. Only thing is the, the supplier's name will not be seen. So buyers can see and unseal the commercial specs. And then what happens? You go there, I will not what happens, avoid the negotiation. Right? Unseal is incomplete. So there is no stage of completing the stage. You know, right? Completing the technical is there, but there is no such completion for the uh, commercial activity. So for the commercial. Go to this place. There is no completion. Thank you. So everything is done. Thank you. So click on it. If you go to the manager, there is no such completion. There is no such completion. Completing the uh, commercial stage is not there. So we only have the award now. Thank go to the actions and then go to award and then here award the negotiation. So at this time, we'll not see whether the third supplier is now knocked off or not. Thank you. Click on the award negotiation. Yeah, now award negotiation. Thank you. We'll not see. All the three suppliers are available. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what happens there. That is not coming at all. I don't know how to make it. Now. So the third supplier is now ranked as one because he's the lowest price actually. I will now select all three. Maybe something I'm missing on whatever the scoring part. Now. That's what I'm saying. So go there. You can even change the shortlist. Otherwise, you can go to the award. Thank you for award. And then I can award to another supplier directly. So click on the award. So go there. So at least one part is now clear, unsealed and part. But unfortunately, what happens is knocking out of the supplier for which the score has been done. It is not coming up. I may be making a mistake. I will not choose the third supplier. I will not choose the third supplier. So, third supplier is not chosen. Now, find that part. That is not done. <clears throat> and then here, what I was uh, done, I will not what I was, uh, save the record. Now. Save and close. So, the award decision has been made. Thank you. Save and close. It is not done. So, third supplier award decision is now made. And now, it is uh, basically knocked off. But what happens is not done. Fine. Changes the save. Not done. And then now, what happens is go there and then submit for approval. So next stage is what only submit for approval. So once when you submit for approval, 31793 will be ready for releasing the purchase order. So we are going to submit for approval. So we are going to submit for approval. <clears throat> On the third supplier, which has been knocked off by the system, okay? about decision for negotiation is now submitted for approval now. So we'll now wait for the uh, what happens the uh, approval to take place now. Thank you. So go there. So click on search now. Fine. The approval stage. You're not coming now. Award approval. Thank you. Uh, go there. Click on it. No, click on it. Award approval in progress. <clears throat> Award approval in process. Award approval is in process. So we'll now wait for the approval to complete now. <clears throat> so it says award is approved now. Fine, click on it. You know, go there. You'll now release the people. One actions and then here, what happens? Award and then what happens is not done. Fine. Complete the award. You will now click on the complete award. So on the rejected supplier, it is now going directly. Now. <laughs> it is not stopping me. I don't know how to do that now. Fine. You'll now ask the like again now. Fine. Create purchase order document. So the purchase order is now getting created. And then once when you submit for it, what happens? It will be going to approval also. So the PO is created on supply three actually. Supply three is basically knocked off because we are given a score of zero. But uh, we have to apply a knockout criteria or what? I don't understand. Now. That is what I'm saying. I thought that it is all automatic. Maybe if you apply an order criteria, I will not initiate the one. Initiate the approvals. So stand purchase order going to be created. Click on submit. Which order comes there. The purchase order creation process will be started. Award is award completed. Click on it now. The purchase order creation process will be starting. <clears throat> so that will be a normal process, like uh, what we had done in the previous one. Now, only thing is here we have learned about the unsealing of technical and then the unsealing of commercial. Actually, <clears throat> fine. By which how the suppliers are able to see. On the other day, we are unable to see it now. We are able to see this number. But again, uh, the knocking off is not very clear. Number of purchase order documents created one now. So completed and then purchase document creation is document is created actually. Was shown. So click on the document. Everything is now created. And then this is the number now. And then that is submitted for approval from pending approval. And then it will be going for approval and then will be done. So it is not stopping me from uh, placing a purchase on supply three fine. So that we had to analyze my rate. So go there. So this exercise is now giving you an idea about unsealing of technical and commercial stage. Fine. Bye for now. <clears throat>